Greetings everyone. Some unusual video today. If you love video games, you probably heard about the tier lists, like for different characters and classes and so on, where we select from best to worst the garbage. And now we're gonna do that with softwares for 3D artists, mostly for stylized works. The rating will be based on my own 15 years experience and opinion. So oh, let's do it. And we are starting with Blender. I love Blender. We've been together since start of my path in 3D art. It was my first software that I used for 3D. 10 years ago or even more, almost no one believed it in Blender and it wasn't even considered as an option to work for AAA games. Times changes. And Blender went from zero to hero. Now it's everywhere. A lot of AAA game companies don't mind to use it. And you can do so much with it. Modeling, UVs, red topology, sculpting, rendering, and even some animations. Also, it has the biggest artist communities with millions of people, a lot of um, add-ons and many, many, many information and tutorials about Blender everywhere. It's a well-deserved S-tier. And the next one is Maya. Autodesk was the industry standard for decades and still is today. So for most projects I've been working, I had to have Maya installed on my PC, at least to open client scenes and export final files as Maya format. While everything been made in Blender, aha, it's also the strongest software for making game animations. Yes, you can use Blender for animations too, but I saw only smaller companies and indie game developers been using it. So. Maya, modeling, UVs, retopology, animations, game industry standard. Whoa. We have to give it uh, S tier, unfortunately. 3D Max, another Autodesk thing. Um, but I saw it so rare in action because it's uh, more for architecture stuff, not the game art, also the UI for me seems so strange and unfriendly there. Mm, I think it's not even close with those two for like game art and stylized things, but it still can be used, so I will place it in B tier. My opinion, Cinema 4D. Where do we put it? Mm, I actually don't know any person who use uh, Cinema 4D for like game art design and that kind of things. It can do some nice rendering, special effects, but why would you, you use it for like other things if you have Blender and Maya and even, even 3D Max? Mm. I think it will go to C tier, like it's kind of useful, but mm, I don't know anyone who use it. Photoshop is next. So what do we think about it? Um, while in our days we do most of texture work outside Photoshop, but still I can't imagine a life without it. Even if you are not like a concept artist, you still gonna use Photoshop for some quick adjustments, uh, maybe doing some overpaints, feedbacks for your team, or preparing uh, final like screenshots for your portfolio. Mm, it's not like a life changer, I think, but it a must have software for us. So it will go maybe like OS, no, probably will go to A tier. So does anyone know what are those two softwares? 
it's um, Photoshop wannabe stuff, but it's free. It's Inkscape and Krita. Actually, I've been using them a long time ago when I could not afford a Photoshop. I got you, homie. And it's the only reason to use them. So I would go for D tier. If you don't have like some cash amount, go for it. But other way, Photoshop. And for next one, oh, let's go with 3D code. I love 3D code. I think it's my favorite software where, where I can spend endless time hand painting my assets. But in our time, it's not that popular and we have so little AAA hand painted games. Actually, sometimes I also use 3D code even when I do stylize it PBR. To better paint my Albedo map or fix some ambient occlusion maps, it's nice for anything that you want to paint with hands and your pen. So, pen in hands, yeah. <laughs> also, it have amazing UV and wrapping tools and retopology things. And it costs pretty affordable. Still, a very nice software to use and it's so easy to learn. I would put it in S tier. Oh, S tier. But that would be only because I love it. Normally, it's gonna go like mid A tier. Still, best software for hand painting. But we don't have that many of hand painted projects left in the world. So, it's gonna stay at A tier. And for next one, let's go with another one texturing software, the Substance Painter. It's a strange logo after Adobe bought it. It's like a painter 3D texture. And where are we gonna place it? Um, um, Substance won the race and it's now an industry standard software for any stylized texturing and probably 90% of stylized PBR textures are, ma are made with it. A must-have software for any stylized artist. Master it with combination of ZBrush and coring skills. You will be unstoppable. Also, I use Substance for texture baking and to get the best texture for my overpaints later on in 3D code and it goes mm, upper S tier for sure must have one substance designer another one great tool for texturing and due to node system it's very very easy to use aha and where do we place it Mmm, it's mostly used to make a tile texture, so it's very handy for environment artists to make like grass, ground, and also like bricks and so on textures. Mm, but it's not that handy for like groups or character artists. And also I prefer to make tiles using ZBrush. So it's my opinion it goes to C tier not that many people's artists um, use it but it's still very nice software marmoset to back i love marmoset and it's gonna go um, 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 um. it's super user friendly it's very easy to master it uh, and overall, super amazing software for rendering your works, uh, making turnable videos, and everything that goes to your portfolio. In past, I've been using it also for texture baking, but now I find Substance Painter much more better for that. Um, While well, Marmor Set isn't a must have software for any of your Workflows, but I love it. I really love this one. So 
So I'm going to put it to B tier. I use it a lot for all my works in portfolio for this renders uh, videos. It's very handy. ZBrush, another one industry standard software. Nothing can beat it regarding the sculpting. Yes, you can do some sculpts in Blender, but it's not even close to ZBrush. Mm, where do we put it? And it have absolutely not user-friendly crazy UI. But after dozens of rage quits, you will love it. Also, you can do some amazing presentation and renders here. No doubt, ZBrush is a must-have software for anyone who want to do a stylized 3D art. And it's useful for character artists, group artists, environment artists, everyone. So it goes to S plus for sure, upper S plus tier, a monster software. Does anyone know what is this icon? It's a mad box. There you are, you little shit. And it's dead. No one use it. I scooped it with mad box like twelve years ago. Eek, but in our days, no one know about Mudbox. It's dead. And this little guy is a nomad scooped. It's pretty new software and it looks great. Also, the price is only 15 bucks. So it's like everyone can get it. But for now, I would say you can use it mostly just for fun, for some kind of sketching while you're chewing on the coach. So, yeah, it's only for iOS and Android devices. Hope we will see a PC version later on so we can use it in our workflow and pipelines for now. And just a fun software, very nicely done. I will place it in upper C tier. And this one is Unreal Engine, a super powerful software and a must have for any stylized environment artist. Learn it, it will help you own the job. So many AAA games using it and so many developers looking for artists who can work with Unreal Engine. I've been looking for so many artists who can work in Unreal Engine 2, so it's well deserved S tier, everyone need Unreal Engine, everyone want Unreal Engine, and environment artists who know how to do things in Unreal Engine are always welcome. So it will go, I think somewhere here. Unity 3D, another one game engine. It also pretty useful and much more easier to master than Unreal Engine. And it's mostly used for mobile and indie game developers. Also, it have huge asset store and you can find everything you need there. I have been working with Unity 3D for my life. Uh, not a must have software, but it's a good addition to your skills. It's a good plus. I would put it on upper B tier, yeah, like here, yeah, maybe, I must it still gonna be the best in B tier. And next one is a Topogon, it's amazing tool for your topology, but not always you wanna go for separate software to do only a topology, well you can also do it in Blender, Maya, 3D code and so on, would you go like for one more software? I am not sure. I would not do this. But if you work like as a topology guy, I'm sorry for that. Uh, go for it. I would place it to like C tier. Yeah, somewhere here. And this one is a marvelous designer. And I actually saw it many times 
it's been used mostly by charter artists it's been working with high polluting scores and it's like the software for making echoes so um, it's not very handy for everyone but you know i never use it by myself so i will let you to vote for it let me know in the comments where do you think it belongs or if it go and that's our tier list for style as a 3d art do you guys agree with it let me know in the comments what do you think yeah very strong s tier master it and you will be unstoppable for sure but don't forget to pick up the 3d code ah, i owe it so yeah guys thanks for watching and see you in the next videos peace